This is Rack Noble here with Prince Patel. Prince, how's it going? It's been a while. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. They're preparing for war, April 15th. How, how you been? Yeah, I've been good. I've, I've been getting around. I've interviewed a few stars, so I'm continuing the trend today. Hopefully, you do up to the mark on the 15th of April. I right, appreciate that. Why are the questions all right? So, 15th of April, Dean White Show, Black Box, Toll Wharf. How did that link up come about? Uh, Dean's an advocate for diversity in boxing. Uh, so a friend of mine put us in contact and it make, makes sense. Makes perfect sense. So of course, you'll be in a championship fight. Can you tell us what belts, what's going to be on the line for this one? Uh, Who maybe the opponent is? It's a few belts, but we're also trying to get a, an eliminator for an IBF. So uh, we've got to get top 15 rated opponent, depending on how many tickets we've sold by the second week of March, is whether it will be an eliminator or just a regular title fight. Now, of course, you was meant to make the return to the UK in December. Didn't quite happen. What made you feel this was the right moment? This was the right occasion in time? Uh, I was ready in December. Uh, sold loads of tickets in there. Sold over 250. Um, fight never happened. Opponent coming overweight. So now we just um, we push forward. We push forward. There's no point waiting around. I've been inactive since November 2021. 20, so it'll be about a year and a half since I've last fought by the time I do fight. I'm just looking forward to getting back out there and showing people in the UK exactly what I'm capable of doing. So just what's the plan? You mentioned potential IBF eliminator. Yep. You get this fight over and done with. What are you looking for by the end of 2023? I, I want to be the first Indian world champion. That's where I want to be. That's the focus. That's the goal. And that's what I'm going to be driving towards. And of course, currently in your way, your rival, you could say to say, Sonny Edwards. Is that something you're already eyeing up? Any world champion in the flyweight division, I'm happy to fight. I love just cause looking around domestic rivals, the likes of Conor Butler, recently won the Commonwealth, you've got That's Tommy Frank. Really rival. Tommy Frank, British champion. You know, these guys are around and they're, they're going to be looking to see you since you've come back into the United Kingdom. They have zero world rankings. They have zero anything that I'm interested in getting. Um, I'm currently not in the world ranking myself, but that's due to inactivity. As soon as I get active again, I'll be back in all of them. Talking of domestic rival, you've had a bit of a back and forth with Isaac Lowe as of recently. I think he was trying to say he will fight you at super bantamweight. Of course, he fought on BT Sports on the Colour Many Tyson Fury yeah. fights. Could that be something we look down to down the line? To be honest, I'd, I'd, let's look at how it all started. Um, I was on Brit Asia TV. He then types on a comment. Remember, I've had this guy on Facebook for like, since the amateurs, when I was knocking people out in the amateurs winning national titles. That's when he added me on Facebook. He's never said anything bad towards me. And then randomly, when I put up a picture of me on an Asian TV network, he, and I quote, says, your bum, give up. I don't know what he was watching on the internet that day, but to comment on my, my thing, I found it quite disrespectful. And uh, I, I gave him an opportunity where we can meet in the middle. As you said, I, I'm campaigning at flyweight. Um, he campaigns at featherweight. So I go up one weight, he goes down one weight, then we go that he go, I go up again, he goes down again, and we meet at Phantomweight. That's the fairest way to do it. And uh, he's coming out with different excuses. In his own language, he said a few different things. Because Isaac doesn't quite speak English. So when we're dealing with Isaac, um, we need to get interpreters involved. But I'm quite an educated man, and um, after reading between the lines, I think he meant Bantam and Super Bantam, but I don't really know, man. To be honest, he also said I fought nobodies. Who's he actually beat? Let's look at his record. He's got like 20 wins, he's got like five knockouts, he's got three stoppage, he's got three losses, two of them by stoppage. Who's he actually beat in them 20 wins? You're, you're a reporter here, can you name me three of his opponents? I, he's think, beaten. I think he's held WBC international titles in the Who's past. He beaten? Name me three opponents he's beaten on his record. I know that he has been in with a well, You're not a world world man. You're, you're, you work he's for been boxing Lope, UK. He's been in with Lopez. He lost to Lopez. He made a number up. He got, he got, he got, he got, he got violated. Mentally, physically, emotionally, sexually, he got violated. Yeah. In all Against fairs, Nick Ball, he showed he had no balls. Yeah. What, what, do you want, what do you want to call it, right? He's been in with top, top who's, competitors. Who, who's, he, who's he for? Uh, everyone, he's beat, everyone he's lost to is someone of note. He's never beaten anyone of a name, but says, I've beat nobodies. Who has he beaten? Name me, I, went, I asked for three people. Name me one person. Name me one person he's beaten. I'll probably need to check that one up on Box Rick. But And you're a man who goes to shows every week. You're involved in the sport, but you can't name me one opponent 
that Isaac Lowe has beaten. And let's actually, let me, let me get into this actually. Let's dissect this record. Before you become a Tyson Fury cheerleader, before you become a Tyson Fury toilet roll, yeah? Before you become all of that, he drew early on in his career against a nobody. No, nothing wrong with that, because I've done the same thing myself. Yeah, I've done the same thing I drew early myself. Nothing wrong with that. He also got beat early on in his career. He, he, he also wasn't knocking anyone out. He wasn't doing anything, wasn't winning anything. It was only until he offered to be Tyson Fury's bag carrier, cheerleader, and personal bog roll is when he started to get opportunities. Opportunities he didn't earn, opportunities he didn't deserve, but he got opportunities. That was it. And did he capitalize on them opportunities? No, he didn't. He showed he had no balls against Nick Ball, and he got mentally, physically, emotionally, and sexually violated against Lopez. He's beat nobodies. So he says I've beat nobodies, but he's beat nobodies. Now, I'm not saying I've beaten the, the greatest people in the world or whatever, but neither is he. But the difference between me and him is I knock them out. He doesn't. Would you be happy to go up to Super Bantamweight? All right, realistically talking, uh, my last fight was at Superfly, but my, I was supposed to fight in December at Flyweight. I made the three-day check weigh in. I was 114 pounds. I was allowed to be 115.1 or something. But I made the weight. I would have made like I would have made flyweight, and I think at a push I could even unlike the one. Me even saying bantam weight is a push. Yeah, I understand he's a featherweight, and I, I do want people to make weight safely. If it isn't super bantam weight, which is something I'm willing to do, there would have to be a lot of financial compensations for me to put the weight on. So bantam weight, you say, is the fair minimum. Bantam weight is the fair minimum. I'm a flyweight. He's a featherweight. He comes down to you, I go up to you. That's the only fair way to do it. So we could be seeing Isaac Lowe and then we can, then we, can, then we can see who's really fighting the bums and who's actually been learning from their fights. Because let's face it, him with his four knockouts or whatever it is, me with my 23 knockouts, even though we're both four bums, we'll see who really hits hard and who really can knock people out and who really can come forward and who really can go backwards and who really can box. Because let's face it, I'm a smart fighter. I'm, I'm a clever fighter. I, I hit hard as a fighter. He's a very stupid fighter. And he's, he's, he's outside of the rings even more stupid. He has no IQ inside the ring or outside of the ring. Do you know, there's a, we, people always say there's not enough big fights at the smaller weights in boxing. Of course, you're so... I'm willing to make it happen. Look, you're quite my, a, my, my, goal, my goal is to try and be a world champion by the end of the year. There's no reasons why I can't beat him up on the verge of becoming a, a world champion. As I was saying... There's he nothing. has nothing. Let's, 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 let's get to this guy. I know you want to try to wrap this up. He, he has been begging to fight Jordan Gill. He made a tweet saying he'll fight anyone and he'll be back on top. He was never on top. Bro. He was never on top. Bro. If we were to go on his, in, on his Twitter, he made a tweet saying he would be back on top. I'm just trying to get it up because this, this guy was never on top. He's never been anywhere. Let's get this up. That's saying... There's not many big fights in the UK for the smaller weights, but I think yourself, of course, quite notable. Uh, this Isaac loser Ford, said, Sport. can't Good spell C-A-R-T, wait, to get back into the ring, to start 2023 off with a bang. I, I understand stupid, by the way. That's why I can read this to you guys. Um, but Sean, like no one, wants to fight. I don't know what he meant by that. I didn't quite understand that. What promoters, fighters make some big fights? I'm willing to fight anyone. Time to get back on top. When was you on top? When was you ever on top? Apart from literally rimming Tyson Fury, when have you ever been on top? Never. You've never been on Who's he beat? Who's he beat? You couldn't name me one guy he's beat. So when's he been on top? When's he ever been on top? What, he's held a Commonwealth title? I've held that. What, he held a WBC International? Who cares about that? I've held way more belts than that. I've won way more belts than that. And to get approved by these belts, you have to have fight someone with some sort of calibre. As I was saying earlier, there's not many big fights, smaller fights in the UK, and I think that's a very good When's he ever been on top, or is he just lying on Twitter? A very intriguing contest. Of course, he's fought on the Tyson Fury, fought and beat his foot. Why does he have a stupid beard? And Why yourself? does he have that stupid beard? Why does he look like an idiot? A brown name in yourself, I think he'll make a good matchup and a good entertaining build up. And maintain him build up with what? We're going to have to get an interpreter for him. He can barely speak. We, I understand that he's fought not very good people. And 
he already seems a bit brain. Maybe he, he needs medical help. I don't want to see him get hurt no more. He needs medical help. He needs medical help and he needs a barber to sort out that beard of his. Well, I think you've made... Or well, I could just knock that beard off his head. I think you've made it very he clear. He can decide whichever one it is. What your intentions are. You're so, once you get past no, the April inten the, 15th, the intentions are April 15th. Once you get past April the 15th. World title. But if he wants to come up and take a beating like a man, take his beating like a man, he can do that. So, but, he's, but actually, when you think about it, he's been stopped by Lopez. He's been stopped by Ball. He beats a journeyman. If he gets beat by me, where does he go? Okay, so let's just... Let's retirement. Just, retirement before 30. Let's just simplify this out. April the 15th, you've got a potential world-ranked opponent, yeah. top 15. You get through that. You will then be open to a fight with Isaac Lowe 100%. sometime in the summer. Or 100%. The summer. Meet a fan on weight and he can take his beating like the man. Like a man. I said that would be a very... he wants to identify us. The Twitter timeline, the boxing media, the boxing world... British boxing, that'll be a very interesting fight, and I'm sure both of you guys will send it. Shave that stupid beard, you mug. Send it. Any last words, Prince? Uh, yeah, just, um, make sure you get your tickets to April 15th. Witness another knockout, something Isaac Lowe can't do, something Sonny Edwards can't do, and that's knock people out. Keep it blessed. Keep it.